Good morning. Today is my last day in Taiwan. For the past couple of days, right, I have been sleeping in um, and not waking up for breakfast. So my first meal of the day has always been like brunch, those kind, you know, like 11 a.m., 12 noon, the top timing. Since it's my last day in Taiwan, I thought that why not for today, I go and try some Taiwanese breakfast. And when it comes to Taiwanese breakfast, right, I honestly I'm not too sure what do they usually have here but the first thing that actually came to my mind was Doujiang Yu Piao and I happened to find this place right, which is actually uh, pretty much recommended by both the locals and tourists here this place is called the Yonghe Soy Milk and right now I'm actually inside the restaurant ready queuing for the food so there is like long line in front of me and I'm very hungry right now come me to eat Okay, I have the menu with me. Um, there is quite a lot of stuff that they are selling here. Let's see the second page. Yeah, some of the kind of like a dim sum stuff, and also this place sells quite a variety of uh, breakfast dishes, and you can actually pretty much find like sweet stuff or savory stuff as well. I am going to try the hot soy milk sweet version and also um, the salty soybean milk this is kind of like a bit uncommon in singapore where most of the soybean milk is actually served sweet and this place does it savory so i'm gonna have one bowl for myself this particular rice roll right it is actually one of the must try dishes here everybody who actually tried it uh, recommended it a lot so i'm gonna try it for today oh yes forgot about it i need to get the yu tiao as well so i decided for today i'm gonna get the hot soybean milk salty soybean milk some yu tiao egg pancake rice roll and lastly reddish cake okay can't wait let's eat Boom. So for the breakfast, I got myself the sweet soybean milk. This is the one that I'm actually really looking forward to eating it. It is the salty soybean milk. And we have some egg pancakes. We have some radish cake. Um, some dough filters, you tiao. And lastly, this is something which everyone has been recommending to eat here, which is the rice roll and oh my god it is very hot inside so it's kind of wrapped like a maki sushi shape and the looks of it right although you can't see from here inside it is like there's lots of bellies inside let's eat really 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 excited to try this first it is the salty soybean milk and the looks of it like it's like they actually put some of the pickled vegetables some of the green onions and you have some utels inside as well so I'm excited. Let's eat. Oh wow! Let's try one more with the Yu Tiao. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. But mmm, this is good. Okay, I guess one thing right is that I'm too used to the sweeter version of uh, soybean milk. So, this kind of uh, surprises me a bit because you actually get that strong uh, presence of the light soy sauce and sesame oil at the same time inside here. And I would say that this actually works pretty good. Next up, trying some yu tiao which they just got it off the fryer. This is going to be nice. Mmm, this yu tiao right, super crispy, super airy inside and I have never had such a yu tiao like this before in Singapore at all and you know what will work 
best with this. Let me show you. So you take some of the fresh fried yu kiao and you dunk it inside this soup. Oh yeah. You give it a little bit of mix. Oh, this might look very messy, but I don't really care. And it's ready. Let's eat. Oh man, Doujiang Yu Tiao, best combination. Hmm. So that Yu Tiao that they actually gave us right was kind of like a bit like left out in the air for too long already, and it it doesn't have that grip and crunch anymore. He adding the freshly fried Yu Tiao into the soybean milk, and that gives it another whole level of taste. I, it, 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 it is just. Ah, I'm running out of words to say, but all I have to say is this is very, 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 very good. So right now I'm gonna try the radish cake. Let's eat. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Mm, the radish cake, right? It has that very nice crisps at the outside. And inside, it is actually super soft, full of flavors, and recommend you guys to try this. Mm. Next up, I'll be trying the egg roll, which I am not very sure if I got the wrong one because the one that I saw uh, from online, right, it actually looks a bit like a uh, chong yun bing kind of style, but this. I'm not too sure about this. Maybe I got the wrong stuff, but let's try it. To be honest, right, this one kind of falls short for me because uh, it is kind of tasteless, and all I can taste is just some flour with some egg with no. I think they didn't even put any salt or anything inside. So this one, bad. Uh, don't get it. Back to my savory soy milk. Oh, I've forgotten that I should, I should actually add one thing into this. Give me a minute. And it is hot oil. Gonna add a bit inside. Okay, give it a little bit of stir. Oh man, look at the color. Hey, it starts to look like laksa, huh? don't you think? Add some yu kiao inside. Oh yeah, give it another some good stir. Okay. Ready to eat. Mm. This thing tastes so much better when it is spicy. Woo. Oh my god guys, come here and try this. Get yourself some oil oil, put it inside. The next thing which I'm gonna try, I'm actually pretty excited about this, is the rice roll. So as you can see right inside, right, it is actually um, stuffed full of fillings. But I'm not too sure what the fillings are. I'm gonna try it and I will let you guys know. How am I supposed to eat this? Let's push it out or oh. You can actually take out the plastic that's right inside it. Okay. First bite. This is really good. So what's inside this rice roll, right? It's actually one yu tiao inside that is filled with pork floss and some of the pickled vegetables. And that combination, right, kind of give this whole thing a new dimension in taste because it is like full of savory flavors. You get that very soft texture from the pork floss. And at the same time, you get that crunchiness from the pickled vegetables. And also the yu tiao, they wrap it together, right? Uh, makes the whole thing even taste even better and this whole thing is actually wrapped in a glutinous rice oh, I like this so much mm. I'm just at a loss of words how good this thing is um, this thing is so good right to a point right every bite that you take right you just keep wanting more so I guess this is what is happening to me now every time I take a bite I just want to take another bite and every time I take another bite I just want to take even another bite and it goes on and on and on and on. Give me a moment to enjoy this, okay? Oh, 
Okay, done with the rice roll. Oh my god, it is so good. So I am left with my last dish over here, which is I would assume it to be a dessert dish uh, because it is the original soybean milk. Sweet version. Yep, let's try it. Oh my god. This soybean milk, it is so full of flavours and don't get me wrong, it is not the kind of sweet flavour from that you get from the syrup but it is that sweetness that you get from the soybean right and I, I don't know if I, if I sound weird by saying this but when I drink this, I feel very healthy <laughs> mm, Super rich and at the same time, right, the soybean milk, right, it is not so thick. So you get a very rich flavour, but also, right, when you drink it, right, it glides down your throat very easily. It is super light, super full of flavours, and this is super good. You must try this when you come here. I will drink this every day if I stay in Taiwan, trust me. And I have finished my soybean milk. Super love this. Okay. Done with breakfast. The food here is super, super, super good. And if you're ever in Taiwan, right, I would strongly recommend you to wake up early one day and come and try the breakfast here. So, although this place, right, fun fact, opens 24 hours, but I guess this kind of food, right, is actually best to enjoy it in the morning when you wake up, when you just got out of bed and you want something, some very, very nice local food to kickstart your day. Come here in the morning. Try this and if you guys like it right, give me a thumbs up, okay? Okay, some of my personal review on the food here. When you are here right, definitely need to get the salty soybean milk because that is, I think, one of the best items that I had over here. Okay, maybe I'm actually very conflicted to choose between uh, the rice roll and the salty soybean milk. I don't know which is the best. So I'm just gonna put these two right in my top picks for this place. So if you're here, get the salty soybean milk, get the rice roll. The rice roll is just unbelievably good. Come here and try it yourself. Let me know what you think. Oh yeah, definitely get the original soybean milk also, the sweet version. You will definitely enjoy it. And when you're eating the salty soybean milk, take some hot oil and add it inside because trust me, it will actually bring the flavour to another dimension. So yeah, this marks the end of my Taiwan trip. Uh, this is probably going to be my last video on my Taiwan solo uh, adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if you like the video, right, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you when we eat again. Bye!